Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I hope you guys had a great weekend. If you're new, smash that like button and please subscribe if you enjoy the readings. And to all of the new members, welcome. Thank you for being part of the Virgo channel. House of Virgo, welcome L33 Sage. Thanks for rejoining again. Um, yeah, if you guys want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. So we're going to take a look at the week ahead to see what messages will be playing out for you um, starting April 22nd through the 28th. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, past position, you have the Hermit. Current, you have the Ace of Wands. Wow, Virgo. Driving the reading is the Ten of Cups. You have crowning down, crowning on you. The light that's trying to shine down, of course, is temperance. Uh, middle of the week, you have the Queen of Wands showing up. Position of you and your advice. You have the Page of Cups what's external to you, people, places, and things, energy, the Eight of Cups, hopes and fears, you have the Four of Cups, and the outcome is hmm, the Eight of Swords, and the challenge is judgment, bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles, you showing up in your own reading, thinking something through, Virgo, over there the course of this week maybe even just looking at your money that's kind of a Virgo thing looking at your cash maybe thinking of ways to make more money or um, maybe you have someone in your life who's a king of Pentacles which could also be masculine or feminine Virgo Taurus or Capricorn um, maybe thinking about socializing with this person or dating somebody they could be Sun Moon Rising or Venus um, are thinking about talking to this person as well but there is also an energy too as far as you looks like maybe you're looking for ways you can be more social or more enjoying your life spending more time with friends okay so so when i say the past we're going to look maybe at the past week that we've just come through you've got the hermit so looks like a lot of self-reflection and, and also clarified here with the high priestess so that's giving me an energy of like trying to get in touch with your intuition trusting your gut last week about something trying to understand something maybe about yourself um, or about a relationship that you have with someone or someone that you've reconciled with last week or in the past could also be <clears throat> accepting an apology or giving one connecting with a sibling um, thinking about your past as well last week yeah just trying to understand some energy now the present energy i know this looks like a mess but believe me i can see the the spread you have the ace of wands so this is excitement i feel like this current energy here right now um starting at least the beginning of the week here is being excited about something like you're you're getting the heart on for something <laughs> you seriously maybe you just started planting some seeds or you start planting seeds and you're beginning to see growth that could be figuratively or literally you know the challenge here but of benefit to you is judgment this is about opening up having an awakening um some of you are having a hard time seeing uh, they're just saying what something's going to look like further down the line you're just kind of right at the beginning here but it's kind of like trying to imagine like for example i'll just give you a very practical example if you planted a seed um let's say you don't know maybe you can't identify that seed or you're not sure if, if even if you can identify it what it's going to look like trying to envision or imagine how things could look going forward okay that is just a very particular message but i do see excitement some of you um, may have some excitement about reconciling with someone or being open and honest, telling the truth. It looks to me with the Ten of Cups here, you're very much in this energy of happily ever after. I feel like this is driving you to having completeness. For some of you, it legit is just about a garden. <laughs> you know, it's just about a garden. I, I mean, you can take this however you want, but I'm going to kind of 
giving a message in, in, in terms of like perhaps, uh, let's say an analogy of a garden, you know, making sure that you get the right mix of sun, water, light, taking uh, whatever this connection you're connected to this week, whether it's a romantic relationship, whether it's a friendship, a colleague, a job, anything or a thing, anything. This is kind of like you in your head. It's like, let me just have patience. Let me not try to rush the process. Let me trust the process, right? Just like when you're planting a seed, it takes time for things to grow. So I do feel like there's an energy here in regards to you being excited about something starting here. Okay, it's definitely a new beginning, okay, happening. Um, and you know, even with judgment, that's that crosses you. So that's pushing through any kind of fears that you might have um, and, and not rushing things. I feel like it's they're saying it's a benefit for you to remain open and allow the awakening to come. There is an awakening that is happening in your life, but it's in divine timing. Okay, it's, in, it's the spiritual timing, a lot to do with destiny. Things will evolve and you just have to trust the process and let allow these, th like it's like a plant, you know, allow it to have growth. The growth will come. The only, you can't force it to grow. The only thing you can do is nourish it to grow. So this is about nourishment, nourishing your soul, nourishing a relationship, whatever you need to do to have continuous growth, wherever in your life this is a hundred percent about you can't force it you can't make things be what you want them to be you can't speed up the process sure you could try all kinds of tips and tricks but it's better to just let something happen organically is how i feel okay so whatever you're doing or whatever's going on here now you've got the queen of wands showing up okay so masculine or feminine energy, this is someone who comes across in the fire sign, of course, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Now let me just take a look and see, oh, wow, hmm, someone's going to introduce you to their greenhouse. <laughs> um, house, the word is house, house of Virgo, holla, um, you know, Virgo, I feel like they're giving me this word expansion and growth. It's kind of like they're, they're showing me, um, you know, you put a seed in some soil, put some water in it, let the sun get at it. Um, some of you, you know, even when you're starting with, oh, what's it called? I'm having a having a brain freeze kind of thing you know when you plant a seed and then you put a little plastic co co cover over it and because you're nourishing it from the seed to, to you know like it's like a greenhouse they're saying greenhouse effect so I, I just feel like this is total expansion this is total growth is happening here so much so that you want to put a cover over it you know what i mean like you you want to you know, or even like you, you plant a tomato plant. I know, but we're talking about all areas. I'm just giving an analogy. Like you want, once you see the growth of the tomato plant, the leaves starting to come up in the vine and everything, you you put in that, that piece of wood there to let it grow, let the vine grow up. Like there, this is confidence. This is confidence that you are going to be where you want to be because you start seeing growth. You start seeing the results, you know, you plant that seed, you're waiting, you're doing everything, you're like, ah, oh, you keep checking to make sure it's gonna grow, you're getting frustrated, but then one day, one day this week, this week, you wake up and you see a little bud beginning to sprout. You see, you've been doing everything right now, something's starting to happen here. And as you go through the week, maybe like Thursday-ish, now this confidence comes in because that Queen of Wands does represent confidence and I feel like you take on this confidence because you've learned through your diligence, perseverance, and patience that that's the only way things can grow. That's the only way it can happen. 
you know so virgo i just feel like if this is in regards to a relationship and just this is a lot about trusting the process and allowing things to flow organically and naturally and that's when you start seeing the results you don't try to really switch things up if if you you're losing your faith a lot of times when we lose faith we want to try different tricks or try different things or maybe we want to get some extra plant food or go get more fertilizer you know no just relax trust the process things will start happening here okay and even as a relationship something leading to more committed more structured more stable energy um in a, on a you know like in in relationships in general or just in the everyday mundane things you know that persistence and keeping going and trusting the process and having patience and allowing things to grow organically is what causes things to stabilize because then you're starting to build that foundation so you're gonna see this week some changes for sure and, and this could be as simple as just, you know, you've been working on your diet or going to the gym. You're going to start seeing results this week. So it's good. Whatever you've been doing. Now, in the position of you and your advice, just this is a message and this feels like a very spiritual message all over, but you take it as it resonates. Your advice here is to just keep nourishing a little bit each day, a little bit each day. You know, it's basically like the tortoise and the hare you know the tortoise just takes their time but gets there eventually you know and i feel like that's what the page of cups is a very mild energy a little bit of love just a little bit of love you don't need to over love anything you know like <laughs> with your plants <laughs> you know you sure you can sing to them they just need a little bit each day you know, and that preserves your energy to also give that love to yourself, right? If there's an apology um, that you feel like you need to express to someone, you can go ahead and do it this week, um, but just wait for the right time. You will get a sign based on that little bud or sapling or whatever you're trying to plant here. You will get a sign and you will know when is the right time to, if you, if you like, I'm not telling you to apologize. I'm saying if you feel like there's something that you need to or you want to do just to kind of let bygones be bygones in a situation. Now, what's external to you, um, person, place, or thing? The Eight of Cups. So this is a journey. You're being called to take that journey. Um, I don't know if it's a person. It could be. But I feel like... Hold on, I want to just get another uh, clarifying card for this. Ooh. Seven of Swords. Show me one more. Let's get an idea of what's going on here. Okay. All right, so what I feel like is whatever you are this week tending to, You may feel, okay, person, place, or a thing, because we tend to things so that we can see results, okay? You may feel, as you're going through these, these shifts and this change and trying to be patient and allowing things to happen in divine timing, you may feel that you are not, you might be losing some faith here because whatever you're tending to may not be tending or giving you results right away for whatever reason okay if it's another person the other person is away um or you know like your plant isn't going to respond immediately always um but will okay but it's going to be an equal amount what you give is what you get is what you will get back Okay, that's how energy works. That's how the universe works. What we we get back exactly the amount that we put in, generally, right? So, if we're gonna plug in a five watt bulb, you know, in a lamp, we're gonna get five watts back of energy. That's how that works, right? So, what you put in is what you're going to receive back. Don't expect any more or any less from that, because I do feel like. If you put in 
one cent, you're going to get one cent back. If you put in five cents, you're going to get five cents back. I mean, you can trust that. Whatever it is that you invest in, you will receive that back in a, in a mirror form. Okay. But I feel, and I feel like that's fair, but don't overwater anything. <laughs> don't overnourish anything. Um, I feel like the message here is you will know when is the right time to apply something and how much you will know. Trust yourself. Trust the energy. There's a lot of, I feel like, mirroring energy back and forth. Now, of course, your fear shows up here, Virgo, that you're going to get nothing back. Okay? Um... But I don't, I, I don't see that. I feel that's more so a fear. Maybe you're that, per, that Virgo who's tried to take care of a plant before and you just kept failing. You know, I always like to say, if you want to understand how to take care of someone, you know, to love someone or to nourish, try to just take care of a plant like or start up a plant and nourish it. That is pretty much... I feel like the guideline should be the guideline for relationships. If, if you have the capability to start to get a seed and plant it and nourish it so it has growth and then maintain that, if you can do that, you can do a healthy relationship because that, I feel like, should be, I don't know, the template for how to have a healthy relationship or healthy relationships. If you overwater your plant, it's going to drown and die. Okay? If you don't water it at all and it gets way too much sun, it's going to dry up. Everything has to be just enough, but not too much. You know what I mean? Oh, look, and here's the lovers. The lovers in their Garden of Eden. Yeah, I mean, this has such a plant <laughs> garden <laughs> theme thing going on here. I don't even know. Okay, so you have, and I just saw the King of Wands here. So the outcome, you do have... The Eight of Swords. Why is this here for the outcome? Let's take a look. Such an odd message. Have you ever heard me give a message like this? No, I don't think you have. Uh, it's just so odd. Let's see. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Virgo's outcome? Oh. King of Swords. Look at all the sword energy. Oh. Hmm. Okay, that's strange. They just said, and I feel like all of the court cards that are showing up here have more to are, are more resembling you. <clears throat> They're saying focus on just one thing. Just focus on one thing this week. Don't take on too much. That's what I'm hearing. Focus on one skill or one communication with someone. If you neglect to keep nourishing whatever relationship, place, a thing, it's going to dry up. It's going to dry up. Now, maybe this has something to do with a king of pentacles or a queen of wands. So, earth, air, or, or fire. But look at this. This is the water drying up here. Restriction. Um, communicate. Do not forego, I'm hearing, communication. And, and so as far as plants go, I'm almost tempted to just not even upload this reading because it's kind of gray, gray. Um, if you neglect your plants, like if you're going to be away, get someone to take care of them. <laughs> but as, and so on a job, like if you're going to be away, find someone to work for you, right? That kind of thing. Delegate. If you're not able to um, keep going for some reason, something with a relationship, communicate that. Try not, if, if you're 
if you're not going to be able to sing or talk to your plants, put the radio on or something for them. This is all about communicate, communicate, communicate. Be open, honest, and truthful. Um, I don't know if this is your advice, but I feel like at the end of this whole week, you may come to realize that you're not doing enough. I don't know why. I kind of get a sense because your advice here was to just contribute mildly a little bit each day. But you might find at the end of the week kind of like, oh, let me take a look at how this week went and kind of do a little bit of a check to see, have it like a little inventory, you know, or do a little reconciliation, have it done enough? Did I, did I water too much? Did I not? Did I, you know what I mean? And there might be somebody that really might communicate with you at the end of this week that they need a little bit more. They need a little bit more. You're going to get some kind of message from a person, place, or a thing that it's okay to, to add a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? So, like, even if you're, like, in terms of, like, let's say you're weightlifting, and you find at the end of the week that you've lifted a particular weight, like, say, I don't know, 100 pounds, at the end of the week, you're like, you know what? I can increase. I, I, you're going to find that out. I, you're going to be kind of like commanded to increase a little bit more I kind of like that because to me that's still the progression of growth in this reading whatever this has to do with you know I'm not even sure a hundred percent if it's love it, it it's just all over, it's so general it's not even funny so you apply it the way you need to apply it whatever you're doing this week take a look um and understand that you don't have to give everything. You're not in a rush. Don't. If you have an anxious attachment or you find yourself feeling anxious about something, just calm yourself down. That's what temperance is there for. That patience and just go very slow. Some of you, this could have something to do with a pregnancy. Okay? Um, which, if there's any patience to be taught... <laughs> Pregnancy will be it because you got no choice but to wait, right? And you just got to try to enjoy the journey, enjoy the process. Yeah, but growth, improvement, absolutely is going to happen this week. 100%. You will see signs and you will know by the end of the week if you need to uh, add a little bit more to something or, um, you know, you're going to see increase you're going to see an increase. Okay, anything else? Retreat, time alone, or in nature will help you recharge. Some of you, this is legit, has to do with nature. Something to do with growing a garden or doing something um, in nature. Something to do with nature. Or spiritual healing. Natural healing. Okay. You also have release, radical acceptance, and surrender can help you let go. And I feel like that has a lot to do with any kind of anxiety or stress. Um, some of you are going to also, at the end of this week, loosen up some restrictions a little bit. Or there's going to be some restrictions that lift a little bit. Okay? So, for example... You can take the lid off that seedling now, right? Plant it. You There's growth, right? Um, so like, kind of like, you know, pregnancy too, you know? The the baby is restricted in the small, in such a small area, but with growth, there's expansion, right? So we're kind of like the timer and the turkey's popping here. So what I'm seeing, they're showing me a timer and a turkey popping, Okay. An awakening so you're going under under a spiritual transformation virgo wow something major definitely came as a result of that eclipse take time to get to know each other too take something so it's going to go slow it's like i was saying whatever this thing is something's going slow but it's it's going to result in a very beautiful so it's not the full story it's not the beginning of planting a seed and then coming to the end of the season and having fruit, 
for your labor. Um, this is only the process here is what I'm picking up. Going slow. You know, it's like the pregnancy. We're starting off with the first day and we're in the third month here. Do you know what I mean? Or the, you know, so it's, it's not the full result of everything, but I can tell you there's progress. I see it. You're going to see it this week and it's going to be awesome. It's going to make you feel really good and give you a lot of confidence that you're on the right path. There's like little signs that are going to tell you you're on the right path, Virgo, whatever you're doing here. Okay. But don't dismiss any red flags. Remember, <clears throat> don't overgive. Don't undergive. Find that sweet spot, Virgo, of nourishment. The sweet spot of nourishment. Okay. Some of you, it's a friendship that's leading to more. You're just going to find a friend in your eucalyptus plant. I don't know what you're doing. But for some of you, this is friendship. It's going to increase. A budding new friendship. There may be someone that feels regret for the way they treated you. And um, want to have some kind of growth with you. Okay, balance. One person might be giving too much. Remember, if that's you, Virgo, there is chemistry, but allow things to just flow. Just enjoy the journey. Don't stress about, oh, I got to get to the outcome. I got to get to the outcome. As long as you are nourishing the journey, you will get there and you will get there enjoying it. Right? So I don't know. I feel like we're on a very spiritual kind of message here this week let me just give you let's see where do i want to go with this this feels different than my other readings all right i guess i'll just give you some of the moon pie messages oh a whole bunch just fell i'm not going to take them all let's see okay Oh, some of you getting that love offer this week. Nice. Uh, beautiful love offer coming in this week, Virgo. You also have learning a new skill. Okay, Some of you, like I said, you're learning something new here. And something is happening. It's causing growth this week. You've got a loving older female also who's going to be significant, masculine or feminine, significant in your life this week, and a material wish will be granted. Maybe you're working on a project of some sort or a craft. You're building something. You're nourishing something. It could be a relationship. It could be anything. But the overall message, allow it to happen, okay? Something you might be learning, a different way to approach a relationship, or um, picking up some kind of a new skill. Just, just got to be patient with yourself, right? It's going to take time, but all good, all good things come to those who wait, right, Virgo? What? Any other messages for Virgo going forward for this week? Oh, my light went out. Okay, intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite light later. So in terms of my analogy here, like <laughs> pay attention. Be present. Be mindful to what you're attend what you're tending to this week. So that red flags do not sh come up. Be kind of more um, proactive. To prevent the red flags but don't do too much okay intimacy sexual chemistry reminiscing some of you might be feeling like a a very strong pull towards someone or someone else you might be in a relationship with someone and there's someone else that you might have a, a you know a thing for you gotta just let some let things evolve organically naturally okay let's see anything else for virgo oh well divorce that's come in reverse so not going to be experiencing a breakup as long as you're nourishing something here okay there won't be any more breakups 
nourishing, appreciation, giving love, tending, but not over giving. Um, some of you are going to be moving, relocating this week, um, or moving in with someone this week. Anything else for Virgo? One more. Okay, these cards are flying. And, huh, okay, that's interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. But let go. Make room for the new beginning that's on your way, Virgo. So these are fantastic messages. I feel like everything is pretty cohesive as far as what you probably need to be doing in your life this week. It feels like some advice. Just trust and allow things to happen and watch for the results. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Sagittarius, or an Aquarius. All right, so September 3rd, September 19th, somebody's 51. We have the letter T, the letter V, we have a B. We have a G, the letter A. Oh no, that's September 7th. Someone's born in May could be connected with a Taurus. Um, the letter O, the letter I. I just heard Goya, Vegas. Um, they're telling me bi Bicentennial, <laughs> Vermont. Someone is born in 63. Someone is 34. Someone is 40. Someone, uh, 1987. September 17th. Um, Istanbul. Istanbul. Rhode Island. Um, Aaron. Someone's likes, someone does something with boats, either has a boat or has a fishing boat. I see an oar, like oars. Um, some of you, oh, Iraq. All right, Iraq's going to be, it's Iraq's, but it just told me Ira Iraq is going to be significant this week. Like, I mean, we know it already is, but it's going to be extra significant this week, Iraq. Um, September 2nd. So that right there is going to be your little world prediction. Um, what are they telling me about that now? BG. The, the words BG. BG. I rock. BG. I don't know. I'm not getting anything. Okay, someone is 58. August 31st, someone's 80, or 1982, August 29th, the letter K. And somebody is born in February, so there could be a Pisces or an Aquar yeah, Aquarius that's significant to you. I don't know what the BG is. I can't, my gosh, it's really wanting to tell me. I don't know if it's a place. It's BG Iraq. I don't know if it's a military thing or a place or something. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when this week concludes. I guess we'll have to come back and make a note of this. If anybody understands something this week, remembers this reading, and something shows up, then you can tell me. All right, let's get some charms. Okay. Oh, okay, immediately. I just saw this immediately. Thyroid, they're telling me thyroid, something to do with the thyroid that will be very significant for someone this week. Your thyroid or someone you know, their thyroid. Um, someone's gonna find out they have little tumors or something or something's going on with a thyroid, somebody's thyroid. Maybe you're gonna get your labs done or get some stuff checked. Um, it's gonna be significant for someone or if you know about it and you haven't been on top of that this week, you need, you need to get on top of it. You also have this really pretty pink lipstick. <laughs> I love it. 
I mean, that thing is all the way over. That's about to break off. But something, maybe you got a new shade of lipstick this week. Or you meet someone that has this very pretty and pink. Oh, that was a movie. Pretty and pink. Yay! Maybe somebody you're listening. That's a great soundtrack. Pretty and pink. Even the song. So something, okay. Now they're telling me strawberry. Pink strawberries. Um, yeah, so they're saying yogurt covered strawberries or maybe strawberry yogurt something to do there's a lot of pink fruit juicy sweet pink something okay anything else you do have a mirror a mirror so there's a lot of mirroring this week remember i said that what you get what you put out there this week you will get mirrored results back what you invest in you will get the same back Okay, mirroring energy. Definitely. Um, now, the funny thing is, this mirror does not have glass in it. So there's no reflection that you'll be able to see. So that, okay, I get it. They're saying um, you're not going to be able to, so you know, like you look in the mirror and you see your reflection in the mirror immediately. But because there's no, no reflection in this mirror, I feel like, the results will come not immediately and i feel like we've been saying that so be patient with yourself ergo whatever this is i don't know what this is but just trust yeah a little bit at a time that's all i keep hearing all right i'm gonna leave that generally we go to 30 minutes a little bit over but maybe it'll be 30 when i speed it up a little but um yeah i hope you guys again had a great weekend thank you for everyone joining the channel and uh personal reading link is in the description box below and thank you to the mods and everyone in the chat super awesome to talk to you and i will see you all back here tomorrow take care hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading Please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.